Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a HDR image in Lightroom. Today I'm going to show you how to create a HDR image in Lightroom and if you want to know a bit more about HDR I've got a whole tutorial on it on the channel so just click on the YouTube channel and have a look for that. But just to give you a basics of what HDR is, it stands for High Dynamic Range and what you have to do is you have to take multiple exposures of the same thing, for instance one correctly exposed, one underexposed and one overexposed and then the computer sandwiches all of them together and creates one High Dynamic Range image and within that HDR image you have a lot more tones colors and blacks and whites to play with and bring out and really enhance. So this is the image that we're going to create. It's a picture that I took down in the New Forest in England. Here are the three exposures that we're going to turn into a HDR image. That one is underexposed, that one's a correct exposure and that one's overexposed. Now all you do in Lightroom is you hold down the control key or the command key if you're on a Mac and you select all the images you want to turn into a HDR image. Right click on them and go to Photo Merge HDR. And then Lightroom cleverly mixes them all together and creates a HDR image that might look something like this. Now me personally, I take off auto align and I take off auto tone because I want to have the control over what happens to this image. So I take all of that off, I put my de-ghost de on none and I just click merge. There is no need to have a de-ghost de de in sorry, on this one um, because nothing moved. So you would only use the de-ghosting if things were moving quite a lot. Now obviously the clouds moved slightly but not much so I don't need it on. Click it on none. Click merge. And then up the top here you can see that Lightroom is merging all three images together. Okay so now it's merged all them three pictures together and it is now there. And you can see, look at, if you look at here where the name changes, there it is there, it's now called image a number and it's got HDR next to it. So I'm gonna now select that image there. I'm gonna go into develop at the top. Now at the moment, it doesn't look like much, but because you've created a HDR image, within this file, there is lots of information to play with. Now, the first thing that I am going to do is try and correct that exposure. So I'm gonna to go to basic at the top. I'm gonna bring down the highlights. Now there you, you can instantly see how much information I've got in this picture to play with, because I just bring them highlights down and already the sky is looking nice and dark and I've got the clouds in. So let's bring the shadows up like that and look at how much information you've got there to play with. Bring down the blacks like that and already I've got a nicely exposed, contrasty picture. I'm gonna leave the whites, maybe I'll bring the highlights down a little bit more. Maybe I'll bring the, yeah, like that. Come down a little bit further to the vibrance, clarity and saturation. I'm gonna bring up the saturation a bit more. I mean, this is a HDR image after all, so I might as well milk it. Uh, bring up the clarity, the clarity is really good because the saturation will saturate the obvious colors like your purples and your oranges. The vibrance will pick up on these muted colors and give them a bit more vibrance. So use a bit of vibrance as well. I always recommend that anyway. So I'm gonna bring that up to about 20. Let's take the saturation down slightly like that. Now go down a bit, put a slight curve in. I might not even need it. I might come back to that in a second. Go down a little bit further and here is where you can really um, enhance your shot. So this is where your creativity comes in. This is where your artistic flair comes into your photography. Um, 
it's a really we're going to look at color so firstly i want to really enhance the sunset i want to enhance the sky and i want to really show out these flowers here so for the sunset i'm going to click on red orange and yellow and see what i can do so i'm in, I'm in this section here i click on color click on red and then click on red sorry and then pull them reds out that's nice a little bit like that click on the yellows because red and yellow make orange so there might not be any need to go into the oranges pull out the yellows saturate them up a little bit and then let's go and see what the oranges can do afterwards oh yeah that's very nice very good indeed now i'm going to go to the blues which is here and i want to bring this sky right out so let's pull that out very nice yes so now I've got, I want to have a look at these um, flowers, which are purple. So let's click on purple, pull out the saturation of them. Brilliant. And then maybe some of the greens as well. So let's go to green and bring in some of them greens like that. Go down a little bit further and I can sharpen it a bit more if I want to, but I don't think I need to. I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in. No, that's already sharp enough. I mean, I say this uh, loads of times in all of my tutorials, get your shots right first. And then in post-processing, you have much more control and you can do exactly what you want with them. And this is a lovely sharp image and I've just sharpened it very, very slightly here. So I don't need to sharpen it any further. Um, and that is about it actually. I'm gonna crop into it a little bit more. I'd like to keep things in the original uh, aspect ratio, which is three over two. Um, click this lock symbol here, and then that will keep that into that ratio for you without any trouble at all. So I'm gonna twist this, get that horizon line straight. I'm gonna bring the floor in a little bit. And yeah. And I'm gonna get that sun right on the third line there for composition reasons. If you want to know more about composition, again, go on the YouTube channel and you'll see lessons on that there as well. So I'm happy with this crop. I'm just going to click there at the top. And there it is. There's my final image. If I want to, I can go back. Remember I said about the tone curve? Uh, I can give it a little bit more yeah like that. Now the thing is, I mean, this is the great thing about Lightroom and being a photographer or an artist, whatever you want to call it. You can just continue and continue and continue. And every now and again, you've just got to say to yourself, no, nope, that's it. I like it. I'm finished. Um, and that's what I'm going to say now. I like it and I'm finished. Let's have a look at the before and after. There's the before and there's the after. Now, the re look at, I mean, the difference is phenomenal, and that's because it is a HDR image, high dynamic range. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial and it helps you out with your own HDR images. If you like what we do here at the School of Photography, make sure that you like and share what we do, follow us on social media. If there's anything in particular that you want us to cover, put it into the comments underneath this video. And remember, learn more at the School of Photography.